Hey everybody, my name is Azana, and I'm back with another episode of Azana Serene. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. I hope you guys have been enjoying time with your family and your friends and eating good food as much as I have. When it was my turn to talk about what I was thankful for, my thing was all the opportunities that I've had this year and that I am living out a lot of the things that I was praying for probably this time last year. Progress. Um, yeah, the thing that I was most thankful for this year was all the growth that Azana Serene has had. As much as I get frustrated with the day-to-day -day and all of the tasks that I have to take on, I really can't say that I've grown. I'm doing better, I'm learning along the way, and a lot of the mistakes that I was making, I'm not making before. The audience has grown, the support has grown, the love of the brand um, and business has grown, and that's been great. One of the things that I really wanted to see pick up last year around this time for my business was my orders. This year, I have a lot of custom orders going on. Thank you guys, thank you. Right now, actually the custom orders is the bigger side of my business along with the collection that you guys see. Um, if you have not seen Boss Etiquette yet, uh, go check it out on our website. One of the things people ask me a lot is how that process works. Is that something that is just for influencers? Is that only for a certain clientele? How do you get that started? I want to tell you guys a little bit more about the custom process and share one of my current projects with you guys, just a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit more about the custom process and how I do that for Azana Serene. The custom order process, what it is and what you can expect. So first off, anyone can make a custom order from Azana Serene. Actually, if you guys have visited the website, if you go ahead and scroll to the bottom, there's actually a little form that you're gonna see where you can go ahead and fill out your information about that. Tell us a little bit about what the occasion is, what date that you are looking to have this order made, send us your email and we take it from there. I'm also grateful to say that I am not taking any more custom orders for this year because things are going so well. So my custom clients reach out to me with a concept. That's the first step. Someone comes to me and explains the occasion that they're going to, what they're looking for, and really just tells me the story. That means in that first step, we set up a consultation and really just chat it up. Once we've done a little bit of dreaming and we've looked at different fabrics and textures and colors, and we've talked about the silhouette and the ideas and all the pretty things that are gonna go into this dress. Okay, so the second step is fabrication and sketches. These, in my world, these things kind of overlap. I'm looking at fabrics that complement the concept and I'm doing a sketch that obviously gives a visual to the idea that we're going for. So my goal is to bring your ideas to life. That's why I'm so excited about these projects. So we get to sketching. I might do, I don't know, a lot of sketches, a lot of rough sketches, something where it's just squiggles and words and whatnot. We talk it out, they evolve as we bring all the ideas together and look at different fabrics. So once we've kind of nailed a few things down, I would put together a final sketch for the client's approval. We, t we look at the fabric and the sketch together and we solidify that idea so that we can get into the really fun part. The fitting process is essential for any custom piece that we do to make sure that it is fitted just for you. We start off with a cotton muslin fabric that looks nothing like what you're gonna end up seeing in the end. For one piece, it might take between one to three fittings. For something more complex, maybe it'll take a few more. The purpose of that is to just go through a few fit samples to make sure that we have the structure together and that everything is aesthetically pleasing before we cut actual fabric. In those fit sessions, what we're gonna do is try it on and make sure that we have the design adjusted perfectly for your body. Remember, you're getting a custom look, so it's not just gonna be a typical two through 14 size or something like that. The custom process means that we're fitting it to you perfectly, you know, so. So as we go through those fittings, what I'll be doing is adjusting the pattern to make sure it fits right. Once we get the fit together, I've adjusted all the patterns and we're confident about how everything is gonna look, it's time to cut the fabric. This is when I'm doing all my late night sewing, getting things together and 
putting together a beautiful dress. What you guys can't see is all the fabric scraps scattered around this office from the project I'm currently working on. Oh, and those and those little pins too. Sometimes I've been dropping those. With every new project, the color, the scraps just change and it's a recycling process. We are working on a beautiful royal blue gown for a guest attending a wedding. It's very exciting. So just like I told you guys, we went through this whole process and it's pretty fun bringing these things to life. So we started off with the concept. Uh, she came to me and told me what she was looking for, what the vibe is. It's going to be a December wedding. So yes, it's right around the corner. Of course, she wanted to look elegant. So she came to me. So we talked it out. We looked at some pictures together and I came up with a sketch. What I always do for my sketch process, by the way, is I use Procreate. This wedding guest look is a beautiful royal blue off the shoulder gown. Very sexy, very classy. I use a stretch fabric for this look and a silk crepe for the lining. But before I get ahead of myself, this is just the sketch. If you guys wanna see how this dress actually turned out, you'll have to watch the next video. I'll take you guys through a little bit more of the behind the scenes of the pattern making, sewing process, things like that. And I'll show you what the final product looked like. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and learning a little bit more about the process. If you guys have questions, ask them, I will answer. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, like this video, subscribe, and yeah, come back for more. I will see you next time.